our rental property again. For those of you who have been following us, hopefully all of you guys have. If not, please hit the subscribe button so you do not miss another video where I am sharing my life in real estate. Um, for the, most of you guys know, I was a teacher for 20 years. I just went into real estate full time and I'm old. So I'm just taking people on my journey as I go and learn and live and and move and hopefully you can learn from my successes as well as my mistakes um, but I just want to put it out there to show anyone that is what's possible so what have we done we just finished our first rental property um, we purchased the home cash outright so all of the money that comes in from the tenants will be our money so that's super exciting and of course that's the way in which we're gonna build generational wealth we have equity in this home now so we can take that out do it again over and over and over until we have multiple properties that is what you call building your portfolio um, now so we we do and once you do one you do feel like okay it's time for the, another one you get that itch right but my husband and i want to simply do one property at a time like once this one is on the market then we've already started looking but it has to be the right fit we won't buy just to buy for the sake of saying you know we have four or five properties we want to make sure that it's something that's beneficial, that it will create cash flow, that it's an asset and not a liability. It doesn't make money, it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense, we don't need to do it, right? So we're super excited about that. And again, the only reason I share these videos is because I hope that at least one person will be inspired to step out of your comfort zone and do something different. If a 20 year teacher can step out um, on faith, go into real estate as a realtor full time, get a property, flip it, then anyone can do it. Because I did not have a background in this. I did not have a lot of information um, when starting, but I had, you know, my smarts. I had my desire. I had my, um, you know, I was going to stick with it no matter what. So I knew this was going to be successful. And here we are. Here we are. It's pretty much finished. Um, I will have a management company come in and do a deep clean or have their people come in and clean because there is a lot of dust and it's just not ready for anybody to come into. So we'll have it professionally clean. But other than that, and the fact that there's no refrigerator right here, my husband just went to go pick it up. So he'll put that in today, install that. He and the contractors outside. So they'll put the refrigerator in. And then I can say it is ready. I was telling my husband how cool is it that a family will spend Christmas in this home. And to be able to bless someone that way is just <laughs> to be able to bless someone in that way is just going to be an amazing, an amazing adventure. So again, the next step is getting amazing tenants in this home. And I'm optimistic. So I, I know that I'm going to be the best landlord and I know that I'm going to have the best tenants ever, right? Uh, but I know that there are also situations that people are in that's not so positive. I just had some a seller, um, they were under contract with me and the tenants trashed their home. I actually did a video just to show you those of you who are interested in the rental property was possible, but they trashed it. My clients had to invest money to fix it before they could put it back on the market. Um, but they did sell it because again, it's a seller's market, so you can sell pretty much anything um, and people will put their own money to fix it up. So we got that sold under contract. However, I need the right tenants. I need someone who takes pride in where they live. I need someone, and I know you're saying, well, people will tell you anything, and that's true. But I'm just praying that the right people come and that this home is a blessing to them and the experience doesn't become a curse to us. So that is my prayer. Pray there with me. Um, and so in the comment box. So in the comment section, I want you guys to type, get good tenants. Send me some good juju. Get good tenants. That's what I'm hoping for. So I can come back and tell the story of how wonderful my experience was, that my property was not destroyed, that they were amazing. I did rent a property from um, a city we left, and he was military, y'all. He was the best tenant in America. Like, the house was pristine. It was just clean. It was probably better than how we left it, because my kids. But he lived alone, and it was just amazing um, how well he took care of the home. And I was hoping that he would buy it because we were selling it. Um, but he said that he wasn't going to be stationed there long, and he moved on somewhere else, and we sold the property. But there are so there are good tenants out there, and I will receive one from the universe. Good tenants cometh unto me. Yes. All right, guys. So I'm going to take you on a tour of what we have. And remember, my goal was to get the home, livable condition, 
things that needed to be repaired and replaced, we did that on the front end so that we wouldn't have to have all this maintenance as people move in. So as my contractor said, we should have no complaints about maintenance for a couple of years, a few years. But you know, we will have money in reserve if we need to fix anything. Again, we don't want to be slum boards. We want to take care of our people so that they want to stay year after year after year if they're doing what they need to do. Another thing, I also um, I did study the eviction laws, the Georgia tenant eviction laws, and things like that. Just trying to get abreast of. I know my management company sent me some information, but. When you are in a certain area or field, learn all that you can about it because if I do have those tenants that have to be put out, I need to know their rights as well as mine as um, the owner and then kind of go from there, guys. But okay, so it's time to go on a tour with Tashara. So I'm going to show you guys the property, talk about what I think, give you the good and the bad and the ugly. They always say that, but I, I want you to see all sides of it, okay? All right, guys, stay tuned. Okay, everyone, so we're actually going to start outside the property because it's getting dark. We've been here doing some work, and so I wanted to make sure you guys saw the transformation of this backyard. If you go back to videos one and two, you will see that everything was overgrown, hanging over the fence. There were a lot of weeds, and just it was, it was very interesting. So now it's nice and clean. This is certainly an area where people would want to sit, have a barbecue, have a family gathering, and so we're excited to see this much space in the backyard, but also to see that it's a usable space. Um, it's nice and flat. There's a pad there, a parking pad if someone wanted to park their vehicles back there. So even though it's not a garage, you can still safely park your vehicles um, on that parking pad in the backyard if need be. So again, the house is all brick, which was very important to us because we know that all brick homes, there's less maintenance on the exterior of the home. So we were so excited to find this gym. This is the front of the home. We did paint it. Um, kind of a taupe color, um, just kind of toning it down from that green that you saw in video one. The lawn has been cut. We now have a trash can. That's how you know it's official. <laughs> we did not have one when we first started. Um, and my contractor took it upon himself. Again, guys, I had a wonderful team. I cannot shout them out enough. They were just simply amazing. I actually did a Facebook post um, about um, Mr. Pitts and his team. They were awesome. So if you're in Columbus, Georgia and you want to know who my contractors are, just inbox me or send me a message and I'll be more than glad to share their information. But here we are with the exterior of the home. Um, oh, and I was saying that he did pressure wash the driveway so it looks amazing. This is the living space. Um, there are three big windows here, which is really good to let in some natural light because unfortunately now this room does not have a, an LED light or anything from the ceiling. So the tenants would have to use lamps to light this particular space, which is not uncommon for rentals, but at least they have those almost floor to ceiling windows to let natural light in. This is the formal dining room. It can be used as a sitting room or family room, but it is officially the dining space. Look at how these laminate floors have lightened up, brightened this kitchen. Before there was this outdated tile, vinyl or vinyl tile that was on the floor. And so now you can just see the difference. We got rid of the fans and we just put in some nice lights to kind of make the place look modern. And we use the agreeable gray paint. Um, some of you all may have heard of that color, but it's a very popular color with new construction. We built our home in 2020. There are videos if you guys would like to go and see those. Um, and we use agreeable gray. Now, this is one of my biggest, biggest moments so far as the transition or transformation, I should say. Do you all remember this room where the ceiling was literally hanging down? Well, look at it now. It's a great space. It could be a flex space for people to have, again, family gatherings, a sitting room. Um, whatever they choose to do with this space, it's amazing how it just changes with a coat of paint. This was paneling. You know, that old wood paneling that was in your grandma's house? That's what was in this room. And my paints were simply painted over it. And the transformation is just unbelievable. There's that new water heater. Again, video one. I'm not going to even describe it, but you probably want to go back and see video one to see why it was necessary for us to replace that. 
Um, we actually, everything is good to go. There shouldn't be any repairs or anything needed if we get great tenants to take care of this home because we have everything practically new. Floors look really good. We just put a you know shiny coat over those to protect them. We really didn't do the deep sanding um, for the floors, but they look amazing. Here's that bathroom. Again, video one, go back and see the pink tile that was all on that wall. It was all here. And now we have the beautiful gleaming white subway tiles for the bathroom, giving it that modern look. Um, we have cleaners that are gonna come in and kind of do the tub. It still needs to be clean, but bathroom looks amazing. We want to make sure that looks nice because this is a three in one. So the one bathroom that is here, it was important that it was done well. So another huge bedroom, the, the bedrooms are really, really large. You have that dining room, you have that flex space up front. I mean, I just think the home really does well for the 1500 square feet that it presents. It just has everything and I cannot wait to meet the lovely family that will be here and take great care of this home. Please subscribe to my channel because I do wanna do one more video where I'm talking about the selection process because I'm working really closely with the um, managers to find great tenants, guys. So this is our first rental. It is done and we are super excited. And thank you all so much for following us on this journey. And we just look forward to presenting you with many more opportunities as we grow our real estate portfolio. Have a great rest of the day, guys. It's your real estate specialist, Tashara Alexander.